Hi everybody and thank you for watching. So here is my CVS haul for this week. So motivation to go to CVS and coupon is non-existent right now. I think I skipped last week. Um, so I there's to me there's not much happening at CVS. I didn't get any threshold coupons in my any of my accounts. Um, but I did see couponing with Sal. She mentioned that she had a whole bunch of 20% I think it is that she got on all her accounts and she actually utilized them all within the week. And then all of those accounts, they got threshold coupons. So I might test that out as well because I do have a bunch of 20%. So I might go back to the store, buy like a pack of gum, um, use that 20% off and then see if I get threshold coupons next week. If I do, then I will go shopping. Um, if not, then I'll just do like a small little haul I two of my accounts um, I still have I just got my care pass so I need to utilize those and then one account I used it today and I kind of wiped it out of extra bucks so there's no extra bucks on that account I'm I think this account I tried to kill last time and then I didn't use it for a couple of months and then all of a sudden I got some amazing um, CRTs so I might do that again with this account so I'm I'm I have no extra box on that account. I might not use it next week. I might just scan my, my card and see if I get any coupons. But yeah, so one card is dead. The other two I have care pass on. So I do have to utilize that next week. I'm just hoping I get some threshold coupons by using uh, the 20% off that they've been emailing me. Okay, so let's go over... Um, okay, so I have three transactions here to show you. Like always, I'll go over the breakdown of each of the deals, show you my receipt, and let you know how much I paid. Um, the first deal I did is this Neutrogena. So Neutrogena and Aveeno um, select products. It is a spend 20, get $10 back. So what I did was I picked up one of these Neutrogena Daily Cleansers. It's $13.79. And then I also picked up these Hydro Boost that is uh, $8.49. So for the two of those, it came to $22.78. So only select ones will work with the uh, digital coupons. So I, I know this one's $8.49. I tried the cheaper one. It wasn't attaching to the digital coupon, which is why I got that one. Okay, so let me go over my receipt. So there is a $2 digital coupon on this one. There is a $3 digital coupon on that one. I also had a $3 of any acne skincare that got emailed to me and then i had a five of a 20 neutrogena so i'll show you my receipt and the complete breakdown so over here you've got uh, there is the wipes and then there is a cleanser so all the coupons so i just did this purely with digital coupons i have my three dollar my two dollar my five of 20 and then the three dollar so i rolled seven dollars paid a bunch of two percent and then i had a 20 percent off and I paid $1.79. So altogether, I paid $8.79. I did get the $10 back, which is here. So what got to be a $1.21 moneymaker for me. So I think that's a pretty good deal for those, just utilizing the coupons that I had. Okay, so I did that on one card. And on my other card, so this is the card that I tried to kill, or I did kill. Um, it has no more extra bucks. So the first two I did is at the General Mills. So general cereal, they are $1.99 each. So two of them would come to $3.98. We do have two $1 digital coupons that came off. So I ended up paying $1.98. I got $1 back from Ibotta. So Ibotta's got a rebate of $1 when you buy two. So in the end, it works out to be a cost of $0.98 cents or $0.49 cents each, which is pretty good. So I did pick up those. I do plan to possibly go back and do this on my other card if my Ibotta resets. I'm actually low on cereal. It's crazy. I haven't bought cereal in months. I told my kids I'm not going to buy any more cereal until you guys basically eat everything. And we're down to our last two cereal boxes. I think I have one Cocoa Puffs and one Kit Kat or something like that. So I have two boxes of cereal left. So this is another two that my kids will eat. But I do plan to possibly go back and do that deal again if my Ibotta resets. Okay. Okay. The next deal that I did is this got to be. So this got to be is on clearance at my store for $3.62. I scanned them on the app and we actually have a six of a two digital coupon. The digital coupon says that it shouldn't attach to like clearance items, but it did. So I wanted to test it out. So basically it's $3.62. Two of them comes to $7.24. I used that $6 digital coupon. I paid $1.24. 
Also on shop cakes, there is a rebate. So 10 cakes when you scan it and then 650 when you buy it. It says it's a limit of three per transaction. I only got one 650. I was hoping I'd get more. Um, I'm not sure if I should um, contact them about that, but it's still a money maker overall. So basically I paid $1.24 after the digital coupon. And then with the shop cakes, it was 660 cakes. That's equivalent of $2.64. Works well, out to be a $1.40 money maker, which is good. I could contact them and dispute the extra 650. That would bring it up to a almost a three dollar no almost a four dollar money maker but we'll see so i did do that so this is my first my second transaction so i have the general meals and i have the got to be so over here you've got the two general meals there's the two got to be i have my two one dollar coupons for the general meals my six off of two for the got to be i rolled a two dollar extra bucks and i had some two percent so I paid $1.10. So altogether, I paid $3.10. I got $1 back for my barter and $2.64 from Shopkeeks. This works out to be a $0.54 cent money maker. So the got to be paid for my cereal, which is really good. And then I was basically done. I That's all the deals that I could find in the store. But I was walking around and I saw a whole bunch of clearance items. So I've picked this up before, but I don't know if I posted a video on this. But um, I picked these up. So these hand sanitizer wipes, as well as these sprays, they're on clearance. So I believe these ones are 80% off and these ones are 90. I put a screenshot here for you to look at them. This is all my store had. So I basically cleared them out. I'll show you my receipt really quickly. It doesn't show the sale prices, but you can see here, there are all the wipes and then the sprays. I basically just rolled or I burnt my last $8 on this card and the 2% paid $1.34. So altogether it cost me $9.34 for all those items, which I think is a pretty good deal. Um, and so basically that's it. So I burnt my, on that card that I'm kind of killing, I only had an $8 and a $2 extra buck, which I burnt on that transaction and this transaction here. And so that card, I will probably not use it for a couple of weeks and see what happens if I get better uh, CRTs. And then I do hope, I'm going to test what the couponing with Sal did. I'm going to use those 20% and see if I get some threshold coupons next week because I do want to use my care passes and uh, roll some extra bucks on my other two cards. And so that's basically it really, really quickly. A small little CVS haul. I think the the best deals are the Neutrogena if you have those coupons and then also the General Mills. I'm not sure if there's any other deals that really stood out for me, um, but I, I'm not sure. It is a two-week deals, so I may see what's going to happen next week if I get those threshold coupons. But yeah, that is my CVS haul. Thank you for watching. <laughs>